Hey, how's it going today? My name is Frank and I'm here on my YouTube channel, Stereotypical Beach Looking Guy. And in this video, I am talking about skimboarding and giving tips on how to hold your skimboard. When it comes to holding the board, you wanna start by having your back end hand to be the same as the back end foot. Depending on how you drop the board, you will shift the position of your hands, but here we will be referring to the back foot first one step drops. Back hand placement is just up the tail and front hand placement is right in the middle. Depending on how you run and feel comfortable, these hand placements can vary from two to four inches time to time. Using my thumbs on the top and keeping a board at a level position and steady, helps overall control and feel. Believe it or not, I get asked this question quite a lot. It's a very basic thing, but it can sometimes be hard to really know what is the best way. Most importantly, you just wanna make sure you are holding with back hand, same as back foot. If you hold the board with opposite hands, it requires you to have to twist your hips in order to jump on the board and often forces a front foot first drop. And you do not want a front foot first drop. Now, I'm not saying front foot first can't work, but back foot first is much smoother and more efficient for water drops and wave riding. Okay. So what if I formed the habit of holding my board with opposite hands? Well, I did this for about eight years where I held the board with opposite hands and did a front foot first one step drop. It worked and I did pretty well, but when I watched guys back foot first drop, I could just see there was a difference. They were faster, smoother, and just looked way better. You will either have to change the footing you ride with or the hands you hold with. For me, it was easier to just switch my hands. So after eight years, I decided I needed to break the habit. I was soon vacationing for a week living right on the beach and decided to commit to spending this entire week switching over. It was basically starting from scratch, relearning my drop. After two days, I really started to get more comfortable with it, and by the end of the week, I was almost running full speed doing water drops. This has been one of the most beneficial parts of my progression ever since. It's made catching waves so much easier and my drops feel so much better. I personally recommend giving it practice and switching over. It'll be annoying at first, but with practice, you can only get better. I hope you guys got a better idea of how you should be holding your skim board. And if you happen to be one of the people that has your hands mix matched, I really do recommend to switch them over and give it a try and just, you know, give it some time and give it some effort and you'll start to see that you'll get better at it and you'll really start to feel the difference as you get better at it. Now get out there and start learning how to hold that board. <laughs> Later guys.